feeling like there was things that I had to do and that I had to be better to go to heaven or for God to want me. And then it just took that conversation with you to really show the truth. And then I really did feel saved in that moment. Thinking about coming to church kind of made me nervous and that's not hasn't been part of our life for a long time like I didn't go to church probably before coming here the last time I went to church was when I was our boy's age with my mom probably like an Easter service at the most for the whole year and uh so I was just looking and like at the different denominations, uh, for instance, and trying to figure out like if I were to go to church, what kind of church would I even go to? And uh, Hayden, our oldest son, was talking to his friends at school about it, and uh, Noah just heard him talking about it and gave him one of the tracks from here. And he wanted to come to the Wednesday service the next day. So, uh, and I'm like, well, he's really just out of nowhere. Like, oh, let's go to church tomorrow. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready for that. (laughs) But uh, I looked into the church and read like the website and looked up the verses on the tract. And we went to church the, that following Sunday service. And, uh, I mean, we met the pastor at the door and greeted us and welcomed us, and Julie was there, and we sat with her during the service, and everyone was the nicest people I've ever met. So all that nervousness immediately went away, and I knew that this is where we were supposed to be. And even the service felt like it spoke directly to us, like we were supposed to be here that day. So we came back the next Sunday service, and uh, we met you, and um, then we kind of decided to go meet with you to talk about things, and not really our thing. We don't really take people up on invitations Mm -hmm. to go out and all that kind of homebody and don't get out with people like that. And we went and talked at Starbucks, and I specifically remember talking to you and then being done doing our talking, Mm -hmm. and then you telling us, I don't think that you would go to heaven Mm, That was based off of what we were telling you. And I was like, kind of threw me off just for like a split second. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Like, like, why? You know? Mm -hmm. And it kind of, like, slightly discouraging, but at the same time, yeah. like, I knew that we were there with you for a good reason. Yeah. And then listening to what you had to say and what you showed us and the scripture, and then really pointing out that's how you get to heaven, because I was more in that mindset of, like, I told, talked to you about, like, quitting smoking and addiction and stuff like that, and I definitely was more along the lines of, like, what do I have to do to get to heaven? And how do I, what do I have to do to make God happy? And then you showed us that I don't have to do anything. It was so easy to do, to be saved and didn't realize that. And then in the beginning being discouraged, but as we talked and went on realizing it's just a prayer away, that's all it is. And Um, And I felt saved after talking to you. I felt that sitting in Starbucks. It was just (laughs) kind of weird. And then like reading the Bible in the middle of a, in the middle of a coffee shop and stuff. But like, it was just was what we needed. And Mm -hmm. I needed to see that. And then the boys being saved the following Sunday after that was just amazing. And then we all came back at the night service and got baptized together as a family and now we're here and I really feel like we're part of this church and it's part of our family this is just where 
we want to be now. Yeah. So 